My name is Kyle May, um, and I'm the Editor-in-Chief and Co-Founder of CLOG, a you know, practicing architect in New York. My name is Julia fallon and I'm also an Editor of CLOG and one of the Co-Founders, uh, and I'm further an Editor, Curator, and Writer for Architecture. I think CLOG started simultaneously for, for Kyle and myself. Uh, we both had, at the same time, a bit of a frustration really is what it comes down to with how architecture discourse was going down. And we were increasingly finding ourselves talking about what can be different and how would we want to see it. Um, so at some point we started talking about what if we do a magazine? And it started off as a super small project. We were just, just gonna ask some of our friends to write pieces and print them out, um, staple them together, and maybe distribute to some of our friends. And the more we started talking about it, the more it grew, and then we realized that we really needed a team to work with. Um, so we discussed some people that we really admired and that did great work and that we thought would be good fits for this. So the beginning was very gradual. It's yeah. not one moment that I think we decided this is it, but, but there have definitely been milestones. It was one of those barroom conversations that actually turned into something real. You know, you, you, know, you always come up with a lot of ideas that. Um, you know, maybe they don't go anywhere for, for good or bad reasons, but um, yeah, this was one that we, it started off the same way as a lot of those, um, but then we were able to pretty quickly assemble a really good team that was all pretty passionate about it, and um, that's what's made the difference. We, you know, we got to a point where we like we looked around and we were like, okay, we can't go back now. We can't not do this. We actually have to, at some point, produce an object. Um, we've talked to too many people now. And we're kind of over the the hump. So, for our first issue, that was really, I think, you know, once we got over the hump where we had talked to 40 people or something and told them that we we're going to do this, then it was yeah. going to go back. Yeah, and I, in that sense, I think there's certain moments that you realize that either you can go forward and make this a real thing, or you can stop there. And in that sense, those are beginnings over and over again, every time you take it a little bit further. So there was one very specific moment, I think, that we realized that if we bumped up the page count a little bit and laid out the issue differently and maybe asked a few more people to contribute, that we could make it a perfect bound book. And that was a huge sort of moment <laughs> for us to really start making this, thinking of it as, this is a real project we're doing. This is something that could be a series. This is something that people will have on their bookshelves and keep rather than read and throw away. Um, this is the moment that it goes from being a pamphlet to a magazine or to a book. Uh, it becomes an object, and that was a huge moment for Clog. After Kyle and I started discussing the project, I think a few milestones were definitely getting the other people on the team involved. Mm -hmm. um, those were, we knew that there were things that we couldn't do alone, and we really needed that team to further expand the project, um, not just in terms of design, but also to help us think through what does this project need to be. So they were incredibly important to us together as a team in even shaping what CLOG is now, what the mission is, uh, and what we wanted it to be and what we didn't want it to be. They were really part of the founding of CLOG in mm -hmm. that sense. Um, that was a huge moment. I also moment. think the name, coming up with the name was a huge moment. Yeah. For a while we, we were going to call it Next Week. <laughs> Just because I thought it was kind of like an idea of talking about the future a little bit, but not too far in the future. Just something a little bit ahead of right now. And that just got very confusing <laughs> even when we were trying to talk about the project. Uh, like, can we meet, meet about next week? Next week. And it just, the name just wasn't working. Yeah. So we're actually sitting in a Michael Beirut lecture when um, he was talking about, he's had this black and white lecture with just words on it. And no images. He, he had the word blog sitting up on the screen for a while and he was talking about himself and, um, and yeah, we just like looked at each other and like, Claw would be great. You wrote it on a piece of paper and pushed it over to me and I just looked at it and I was like, Claw, what are you talking about? And, and you had to convince me. Yeah, it actually 
the more we started to get into it, it was the idea of, of that clog moment where you slow down, work through an issue, and then you can move on to the next one. Yeah. This moment of, of, of bottleneck. Going back to kind of your initial question about beginnings, um, personally, I still, I mean, I think we have a beginning with clog, but um, we still meet every once in a while, the core group, um, to discuss where it's going to go and if there's going to be another beginning with the same group um, doing another project or not. Um, or how clog might evolve into other strands using the same, the same beginning, using the same foundation and same mission, but branching it off into different initiatives. Yeah. The idea of, I don't want to say copying, but maybe copying is fine, but um, iterating on or um, learning from, I think is absolutely essential. But um, I, I think log is undeniable. We always knew that we wanted to be different than log, and it's one of the big reasons why we chose short texts rather than long ones was mm -hmm. As a response to magazines like that that have the long format, um, and we Great just room. really wanted something else. But it was a model that we looked at as like, this is existing, this works well. What else does there need to be? Um, I think San Rocco for us is, is a huge one that we like a lot, and that was in really design, born at the same exactly almost the same time, right? um, but has done incredibly well, and it's it's very exciting to see and. I love their design, I love the way they frame the issues, um, it's just a beautiful thing. And they they were smart. smarter and they have an ending. Now we're struggling with how we end. Yeah, and it's, it, that was one of the things we looked at. Social now we subscribers, you can't just, you can't just, you can't just stop. <laughs> but that was one of the things we looked at and we talked about it for a long time. Like, do we set, from the beginning, do we set the limit on what we want to do? And but we already felt like we were limiting ourselves so much in the way clock was phrased by having the, the topics that we do and, and the short pieces that we kind of thought, well, what if we get to the point of having 20 issues and we either don't feel like they're good anymore at 20 or we really have more great ideas that we were really excited about. Yeah, I think also pamphlet architecture yeah. was probably more from the beginning than what it turned out to be, but um, pamphlet architecture was, and you know, some of the institute um, yeah. Projects, institute publications, Skyline. I think I think there's also a lot of great student publications. I think Pigeon does a great job, and they have really found a certain format that works for them. But but I, I think we're looking at all of yeah. you're looking at kind of all of those things simultaneously yeah. and picking and choosing what you like and you know inventing a new way of doing what you think the failures of them are. So.